Welcome to Get Roaring. I am Rory Fancy meeting you here. It's time for some more NHL franchise mode. We're in the second series. Don't let the visual fool you. Because we started with the Hamilton Ogres, but I got fired. It happens. It happens more frequently than I would like, actually. But apparently the Moncton Lions had a, had a vacancy uh, for their GM. So we're going back to Moncton in this series for at least the foreseeable future. The Moncton Lions, in this case, are not an expansion team. They replaced the Arizona Coyotes. So they will have the players similar to the Arizona Coyotes. Um, if we take a look at our lineup, uh, we have OEL and Hesh and Keller and Fisher, Dvorak, Hayton, Schmaltz, Declare. Uh, Zach Bogosian, Garland, Kubalik, Larson, Soderstrom. <laughs> yeah, we made a trade, didn't we? Yep. And they gave him the 5.7 mil. I think he was a... Uh... Oh, boy. Okay. And our goalies, uh, Hill and Sorokin. Okay. Well, there you go. How are we doing for cap space? We have cap space, so we can spend... But we were also terrible, so not as terrible as the Ogres. But the Ogres kind of got stiffed on the draft because they got um, the fourth overall pick when they were slated to go first. Uh, I believe I have the eighth. Let's take a look at the draft board. Projected picks, we have the eighth overall and then the sixth in every sub subsequent round, but the fourth. Okay. And... The <laughs> The Ogres probably have that one. I think that might have been part of that deal. But anyway, we're going to take a look at, at the potential players. Now, there's two created players that I've seen in this draft. There's Rorius Vineyard. You might remember him from the last series playing out of playing out of Hamilton. The Hamilton Bulldogs. Would have been cool to draft him, but even the Ogres would have come in at fourth there. So, well, that, okay, that player does not look bad at all. Anyway, uh, we're down here, but there's also another created player here, Ryder Duham. And uh, he looks pretty good. He looks pretty good. He's NHL ready. I think we're going to pick him uh, in the first round. So we'll have him on uh, Moncton. Then we're looking down at the sixth pick in the second round. So we're looking at about 38, somewhere in there. So around this area, is there any, anything kind of in, ooh, ooh, what are these? Ooh, ooh, that's better. So same potential, but this player has a an A plus competition with a C, I think. Moroza, Stan Stanislav Moroza. There's a couple players that may have three years. How far away is Moroza? Three years. Okay. Six foot center power forward. There's also this uh, Toby Dillon, who's a six foot three sniper, 17 years old, C level competition. Tangredi. Tangredi is C minus competition. Morozov is A plus competition. So they're all about about sort of a similar place. Um, kind of interested in this. Kind of interested in this T. Dillon, the Toby Dillon. So let's interview Toby Dillon. Actually, hold on. Three years away. We don't know what, what kind of player they are. So let's do... If they're a sniper, might be kind of interested in them. So let's go with skills. Strengths, probably shot. Yeah, weaknesses. Don't say skating. Okay, defense, not not that not that crazy for a 17-year-old. Play style. Let's check it out. Are we a sniper? Okay, so yeah, sniper. Let's see if that improved our. Uh, visibility on them anymore.
Uh, didn't look like it helped much. <laughs> didn't like, didn't make much, much clearer. Uh, what about Morosa? Hmm. I mean, do we do we go for the known quantity or do we take a flyer on on this kid? Six foot three, seventeen years old, one ninety eight. Morosa is the same thing. Man, they could both be good players. I don't know if I'm big on the two-way forward portion of it, though. Um. I guess we could check what kind of player they are. Oh. They're a playmaker. Ooh. What about skills? Strengths? Skating. Okay. Weakness? Not physical. Okay, I'm... I'm interested in Morosa, because if we get... I like the sniper, but if we get uh, a playmaker to go with, uh, with Ryder... That might work out better. So we're sliding down a bit, but that's okay. All right. Let's check the third round. So we're looking at about pick number 70 or so. Let's see if we find any of the 74. Martin Dumba. Left defense, two years away. I think we'll go for that. We can do the interview. Not really sure. I kind of like I kind of like the looks of that player. So I think I think that's an easy check. Let's uh, back out a second. Now let's see if we can find any diamonds. So we'll sort sort by potential. Trying to go past where we were here. A plus competition, skating is not good. Okay. Whoa, hello. 164, Rive. Two years away. That looks pretty good. Okay. Good with that. Good with that. Oh, there's a gem. Vince Russell, hybrid. 18 years old. Uh, Where was Rive at? 164. Okay. Uh, it's tempting. Let's start looking about here. Four years away, sea level competition. I mean, if there's nothing else in the area, maybe we can take a look anyway. A plus competition, size and strength, strength and quickness. That's That looks like an interesting project. No, foot speed is a problem. Okay, we've obviously gone back to the start here. Uh, let's check about here. Three years away, not bad. Okay, down a little bit. There's another gem. Skating and foot speed is a problem. 18 years old. Queen of the Liga. Elite speed. Okay, that's weird. We're gonna we're gonna throw that one in there because that's it's kind of strange that they would have elite speed and their skating would register that low, but not not for sure, you know, not for sure. There's Morosa. All right, let's go down here. Owen. Hard wrist shot. Four years. That's a strange looking player. 65 though. C minus. Foot speed is an issue. Hard wrist shot center. Okay. Foot speed is an issue. Skating is an issue. Everything is an issue. There are no strengths here for Raphael Velasic. Bloomstrand? Okay. 
A plus competition. Where are you at in the draft? 165? Not bad. Not too bad for that range. 64. Let's go back up to 1. Foot speed is an issue. Foot speed is an issue. Alright. Those are... Top of the draft there. Now we're back down again. Check McGillney here. Foot speed is an issue. Back to 90 or so. Kurt Marlowe. It's like one Marlowe retires and another one comes in. The league always has to have a certain quotient of Marlowe's. Uh, a plus. Skating is an issue. Skating is a weakness. Weakness. Right wing, two way forward, six foot five. A plus competition. Skating is horrible. Where are they? It's 55. No, okay. Let's keep going. Many of these players have a... All the skating is bad. Or not great. Skating is an issue. Alright. What speed is good? It's 54. Okay. Let's go back down here. What speed issues? Skating issues. Skating, skating, skating. Weaknesses, none. Their skating isn't good, but their weaknesses, they, oh, okay, 28th overall? No. No, 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 no. I was looking at that pick going, is it like 180 something? That'd be great. That's somewhat interesting. Competition level's D, though. No. Justin lies. Okay, he looks kind of interesting for a 280-something pick, so we'll go with that. Cyrus Pitt. That's an awesome name. Um, let's go down here. Victor Giordano. Quickness is a problem. Skating, skating. Foot speed, skating, skating agility. I gotta be able to skate. There's like no way. They're gonna get danced if they don't. Quickness, shot, acceleration. I'll make the exception here or there if I see something in a player, but for the most part, when they have skating, fo uh, foot speed, and mo mobility problems at this age, then, I mean, they can be overcome, but it's always good to have a good base. That's a weird-looking player right there. A-plus competition, foot speed is an issue. Heavy slap shot, magic hands. That's just a weird, weird defenseman. I'm curious. I, I just want to see what's going on here. So let's do uh, play style. Defenseman, I believe I can join the rush and still be the first man back. Okay. Do AD probably. A lot of learning to do, that makes sense. Let's look at their strengths. Greatest strength. Physicality, okay. So it's very much a, a defensive defenseman. Two-way, but tends towards defensive. That's a long-haul project. Let's check out if we found out anything more about them. Yeah, probably not. All right. Okay, I think I'm good with that. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight picks. 
That should do for the draft. Important ones are the first round, the second round, and then the one that's at 134. So we'll have to figure that out. But um, that'll do for the prep portion of the draft. Actually, let's advance a day. And let's take a look at our trading block. We'll do that in this one. That way we can jump straight in on the second one. Uh, second round pick for next year from Hamilton. That's probably going to be pretty good. I don't want to trade that. I uh, don't want to trade this year's. Uh, I don't know why that player's on the block, but let's take a look at any aged players. OEL. OEL is with us for five years. <sighs> OEL is good. That'll take him to the age of 36. I don't think that contract is going to age well. So we're going to put OEL on the block. But we're also going to ask for uh, first round picks. And we'll ask for all the picks next year. It's fine. Um, let's get rid of these whatever stuff. We'll look for uh, a top tier forward. So like first line forward. Uh, 28 years old, probably about there. Or a uh, top two defense. Somebody younger. All right, we'll go with that. Backup goalie I can sign, not too worried about that. What do we, what do we got tied up in money? Keller's fine. Kubalik is... That's interesting. We'll have to give him a better shot to try and compete. Uh, Schmaltz is fine. Larson... I guess we can try and get him... Get him to be more... Give him give him more opportunity, I suppose. That'll happen if we trade, trade away OEL. Uh, Garland. That's a hefty contract for four years. Uh, Fisher, that's fine. We got a lot of like hefty contracts that may not be that may not you know work out well. I'd like to keep Duclair. Alexiak is fine. Okay. Um, goalies. What are we doing for goalies? Not not much to talk about there. Okay. So OEL may be the only one that. Uh, that I'd like to get rid of. Well, that'll do it for this episode. Thank you very much for your time. Welcome back to Moncton. I'm still... That's... Uh, still bothers me. I really wanted to build Hamilton. I really did, but I messed it up. So here we are back in Moncton for some reason. And uh, we'll see what we can do with them. We've got a fun draft coming up. I'll see you in the next one. Hit like if you liked it. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the description for the socials, and I'll see you at the draft.